All right, so you got Streamlabs OBS downloaded and installed, and this is what you're presented with. Now you don't know what to do. You can import an overlay if you have had someone design you some overlays, some scenes. Uh, inside the software is called a scene collection. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to import a scene collection now. All right, to import your scene collection, you are going to go to the bottom left gear settings icon here, click on that, and then go to scene collections here. After that, you will go to import overlay file. No, I'll actually say dot overlay, open. All right, and you have the, is the file that I imported just to make sure it works. Uh, this is the scenes I made for a client. You will have to set up your um, display capture again in order to do that, you will hit this plus icon here. Go to display capture here. Now, this option will just will capture your entire display. So if you do not have multi monitors, you actually want to go with a window capture. Um, but for this demonstration, we're going to do a display capture. You can keep the name. Now here's where you will rename the source if you wanted to rename it. Add source. And I'm capturing the same window that I have this in currently. The finally, the one I wanted. Okay. So that's how you set up a display capture. Um, super easy. It'll, it'll show you whatever's on your screen. It'll show pop-ups. It'll show everything. So if you do not have multiple monitors, this, this option will not work for you. Um, as it will display whatever's on your screen. It won't prioritize which layer to capture or whatever. Um, so in order to prioritize, we're going to select a window capture. Um, there's also a game capture, and that's spe specifically for anything that's full screen. Um, it doesn't have to be a game, but uh, that's specifically for anything that's full screen. Um, so for this option, we'll select window capture, add source, and we can leave it that that name. That's where you would rename it. All right, and here is uh, any window that you want. So for instance, we'll make this... Um, Chrome, where is it? There it is. And this is just the video I'm watching currently on the side. Yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, it'll it'll only display this window. However, if you switch tabs on a browser, it will switch to that tab. So just be careful that you don't go messing with the the current active window. Now, if I if I had another uh, browser source, I can play with this one. So if I if I pull my window that I have currently, uh, I have it right here in the frame. Um, if I went to pull that over. The monitor I'm capturing currently, the window I'm capturing, you can't see the window that I'm holding. That makes sense. So um, it will prioritize what window to capture, but it will not prioritize what tab. You have multiple tabs open. So just know that. You may also have um, problems if you currently have hardware acceleration turned on in both Google Chrome or whatever browser you use and. Um, with Streamlabs OBS. So in order to turn it off here in Streamlabs OBS, you would go to your settings cog in the bottom left. In general, disable hardware acceleration, disable. And it'll require a restart, so you'll have to restart Streamlabs OBS for that to take place. But just know that usually if you want to if you wanted to capture Zoom or Skype or a Hangouts call, it's a lot easier to do if you have this uh, disabled. So sometimes it, it creates uh, connectivity issues. So just know that. Okay. Um, if you have any more specific questions, let me know and I will get a video pumped out for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.